Joining me now, Alice Johnson, author of Afterlife, My Journey from Incarceration to Freedom. Alice, great to have you back on the program. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for having me tonight. So when you listen to, to Bernie Sanders saying that he believes that this is just sort of a clemency to all President Trump's friends um, and that he's forgetting people who are, you know, drug offenders who maybe are in to do more time than they should have done, I wonder what you think when you hear that, given your own story. <laughs> well, I know that I wasn't politically connected. And I know mm -hmm. that three of my friends, Judith Negron, Krista Munoz, and Tynese Hall were granted commutations today. Mm -hmm. And they definitely are not politically connected. And anyone who thinks that these women should not have been granted clemency have not looked at their cases. They should be celebrating that these mothers are being reunited with their families. Their stories are very, very compelling. I think it's fascinating. And I'm very thankful that I could play. Yes. No, I'm, I'm glad to hear um, about those stories as well. You know, what, what has your freedom allowed you to do, Alice? It's allowed me to capture those moments in the lives of my family that I've been missing. I only knew my grandchildren from prison communications, from letters and phone calls and emails, and now I get to be at those family occasions. Mm. And one of the most important things, I get a chance, Martha, to use my voice and to use my story to advocate for others to be set free also. Uh, it's a great mission, um, and, and it's wonderful that you're doing it. Uh, you know, back, you wrote an editorial, to, you asked President Obama to, to give you the same opportunity back in 2016, I believe. Is that right, through an op-ed? Yes, I did. So, you know, I know that you're, yes, was... you're being featured in a, in a Trump um, campaign ad. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, I was very proud to be featured in that ad because it put criminal justice reform front and center. Mm. It made it the centerpiece of one of the most watched events of the whole year, a hundred and I think around 13 million the people Super Bowl, yeah. watched the Super Bowl. So it got people talking. Mm. So I was very proud to be a part of it. Well, we're happy to hear from you, Alice, and uh, we'd love to hear more about your friends who also have their freedom today, and uh, we wish you well, and we thank you very much for sharing your story with us. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Martha. I've Good been crying you. all day. <laughs> <laughs>